third one here 100 ml of o, see the third question 100 ml of 1 molar hcl 200 ml of 2 molar hcl and 300 ml of 3 molar hcl are mixed then what is the molarity of the resulting solution so here HCl solutions, three parts, three solutions are given, three different solutions. One is HCl1, HCl1, its information, this is 1 molar and 100 ml. Similarly, HCl2, second solution of HCl, it is given 2 molar and 200 ml solution. Third part, HCl3, it is uh, it is 3 molar and uh, 300 ml solution. These three solutions are mixed. Then uh, what is the molarity of the resulting solution? See here HCl1, HCl2, HCl3. Molarity of the mixture how much? That is the question. If these three are mixed, what is the molarity of the resulting solution? Here see solutes all are same. If solutes are same or similar, then what is the formula for uh, molarity of the mixture? Here how many components? Total three components. That's why M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3 by V1 plus V2 plus V3. That means M1 V1, 1 into 100 plus M2 V2, 2 into 200 plus M3 V3. 3 into 300 by V1 100 plus V2 200 plus V3 300. So, what is the value? 100 plus 2 into 2 4, 400 plus 3 3 is 900 by total sum 3 plus 3 600. Now, see what is the term left? 1 plus 4 plus 9 that means 14 by 6, 14 by 6 means uh, 2 point, uh, what is the value, 14 by 6, 2 point uh, 20, uh, 2.33 molar. So, that is the molarity of the resulting solution. So, have you understood, here three different solutions with the same solute are given, molarity of the mixture, how to calculate, this is the way. Okay go to the next problem, fourth one. <coughs> Here, see the question first. The concentration of 100 ml of solution containing x grams of Na2CO3 is y molar, the values of x and y. Here, two terms are missing from the formula. So, how to find out? If any one term is not given, we can use directly the formula. But here, in this question, in this fourth question, two terms of molarity formula are missing. See? So, here, which terms are given? Only volume is given. Volume of solution is 100 ml. Weight of solute is x grams. W2 is x grams. Next, molarity of the solution is y molar. Okay, we have to find out both x and y. How to? So, in this question, let us verify the options. See, options are also given here. First option, 2.12, that means x and y values respectively, 2.12 grams, 0 0.05 molar. This is first option. Second option is given, 1.06 grams, and 0.2 molar. Third option, 1.06 grams, 0.1 molar. Fourth option, 2.12 grams and 0.1 molar. These are the options given. See here, the solute is sodium carbonate. That means the gram molecular weight of solute is, for sodium carbonate, what is this gram molecular weight? C ones. Sodium carbonate means Na2CO3. For 2 sodium, so 2 into 23. For carbon atomic weight 12 plus 3 oxygen, so 3 into 16. You will get total 
what is the molecular weight 1 r 6 so gram molecular weight of uh, sodium carbonate is 1 r 6 grams gram molecular weight of Na2CO3 is 1 r 6 grams see here in this uh, problem two terms are missing weight of solute is unknown and uh, molarity of the solution is also unknown so how to find out the two terms so in this type of uh, problems uh, first uh, we have to verify let us see if you what is the formula for molarity molarity is equal to weight of solute into 1000 by gram molecular weight into volume of solution in ml this is the standard formula in this formula w2 and m are unknown factors so let us verify it what is the first value first value is the weight that means uh, x second value is of molarity if you substitute the first value you will get the second value na? that is correct answer so here let us verify so here first value means weight substitute weight i am verifying the first option now weight of solute is given 2.12 into 1000 by its uh, molecular weight what is the molecular weight of uh, sodium carbonate 1 r 6 into volume of the solution it is uh, 100 in 1000 110 times 10 into 2.12 21.2 in 21.2 1 r 6 how many times 0.2 times that means if you substitute the first value then the second value must be 0.2 but given 0.05 that's why it is not the answer so go to second option so let us verify the second option in second option molarity is equal to in place of weight substitute 1.06 into 1000 by gram molecular weight 1 r 6 into volume of the solution 100 see here if you substitute the first value see what is the answer 100 in 1000 10 times so 10 into this uh, 1.06 means 10.6 that means answer should be 0 0.1 but uh, here answer uh, 0 0.2 is given that means if you substitute the first value na, second value must be 0 0.1 but here 0 0.2 is given that's why second option is also wrong now go to the third option so what is uh, the third option 1.06 grams weight is given see here and uh, what is if 1.06 is substituted now what is the molarity of the solution 0.1 that means substituting the first value in the formula getting 0.1 that means third option is the correct one so in uh, objective type uh, uh, question papers uh, what happens is sometimes uh, two terms will be missing from the formula so if two terms are missing then go to verification verify each option substituting the first value if you get the second value na, that is the correct answer in this way